Hello, this is a Dharma Trading Company video demo on how to put together the Central Pneumatic Compressor and Quick Change Airbrush Kit. These are the pieces that come with the compressor. Here's the compressor itself, the PSI pressure gauge, the hose for the compressor, Teflon tape, and adapters. These will be at the bottom of the box, so make sure you look at the very bottom. The first thing we're going to do is attach the pressure gauge and screw it onto the compressor. You want to screw it on until it faces upright. Just hand tighten it, don't over tighten it. Now that we have the pressure gauge detached, we're going to attach the hose to the compressor. There's two ends to the hose. We're going to screw in the male end, but first we're going to wrap it with Teflon tape to prevent air leaking. So you take your Teflon tape, you don't need to use that much, and just go ahead and wrap it around the male end. And this is where you screw in the hose. Now that we have the hose uh, connected to the compressor, we are going to attach one of these adapters to the end of the hose for the airbrush hose. There's two size adapters and they are meant for different size airbrush hose. This one that has a larger size and a smaller side is meant for the quick change airbrush. So the first step is to take off only the top piece from the hose. And then you're going to attach the smaller end of the adapter onto the end of the hose. Just remember to apply a thin layer of tape to each connection. This is to prevent air leaks. These are the pieces that come with the Quick Change Airbrush Kit. There's five bottles for five different colors, your airbrush hose, your airbrush itself, and this is the adapter that you connect to the airbrush hose that connects to the compressor hose. So now we're going to take our compressor hose and the adapter that comes from the airbrush kit. We're going to put them together. Now remember to put a thin layer of Teflon tape on each connection. Now this hose is different. It's got both the sides are the same. So you're going to take one of the sides and attach the airbrush hose to the compressor hose. Make sure they're nice and tight so there's no air leaks. So after we've attached the airbrush hose to the compressor hose, I'm going to attach the airbrush to the airbrush hose. Once we've done that, you take your paint and you attach it to the airbrush and you're done. So here's your final assembly. This is your compressor attached to your regulator, attached to your compressor hose, which is attached to the airbrush hose attached to the airbrush, which is finally attached to the paint can. Now you're ready to go do some awesome airbrushing.